So now it's just me and the six kids. And I'm, a, I'm feeling a little daring, so we're gonna try and get onto a boat. Let's go on a boat. It's Vlogmas Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas Vlogmas. And it's time to celebrate. No. Yay! Good morning, everyone. Oh, what? Happy New Year's! Happy New Year's! This is yeah. not New Year's yet. Well, it's almost. Almost. Yeah, the 2021 is almost over. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, are you eating a banana? Mm? Oh, wow. Happy New oh. Year again! Yeah, a banana. Do you like bananas? Yeah. Yeah, bananas are yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that, is that your hair? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Did you get your hair washed this morning? Did Daddy yeah. wash your hair? Yeah. Are you already putting banana in it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Banana! 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 banana. 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 I like bananas. It's tradition for me after Thanksgiving to make potato pancakes. I think some people call them latkes. I call them potato pancakes because they're pancakes made of potatoes. Mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes! So now I'm going to scrounge around and see if we have any Thanksgiving leftovers. Oh wow. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but this is a giant, giant vat of mashed potatoes and stuffing. And I think it's a glorious thing. We're gonna feast off of this for as long as we can. Duncan really wanted a Mickey-shaped one. I did my best. Duncan wanted to shape his own potato pancake, so let's see what he comes up with here. My butter started burning, but this one is Duncan's. He says he shaped it like Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski! You like it? Yeah. How was Mickey Mouse? How's yours? Good. Okay. Potato pancakes? Get a thumbs up from Chef Jacob. Excellent. How was it, Bailey? Happy day after Thanksgiving! Happy Black Friday! Happy Black Friday! <laughs> I'm shopping for Christmas presents. I, I'm almost done. I have to get Mom two more Christmas presents. You don't have to give me a Christmas present. Just give Wait, me hugs. Wait, I think I got you. Draw me something. I have to get you one more Christmas present. Okay, you fancy. Parker loves shopping for I, people. I got everyone two presents except for mom and dad. I'm giving them three presents. <laughs> so my mom actually stopped by the other day and dropped off something special for Luke. It's um, a tradition from her. We won't be seeing her during the holidays at all uh, because she actually left for Mexico already. And I think my sister and my dad will be in Mexico around Christmas time. So my mom dropped off something special for Luke a little early. So Yay. this is a very special handmade Yay. gift for Lukey. So why don't you open that up, little man? Here, here. Up here. Rip it open! Oh, oh whoa! There! A good. box? <laughs> Ooh, the Sharpie <laughs> went through and it says Luke on the box too! Bonus! What? Again? <laughs> More wrapping paper. More paper! Hmm. You open it? Uh -oh. Luke! <gasps> oh my goodness! Luke, it's your stocking! It definitely is longer than yours, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, it's your That's your stocking! That's right! He this. says, Who's that? Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Uh, yeah! It's, it's Santa! Santa. Can you say thank you? Aww, what a sweetie. My mom has actually hand knit the kids all their stockings. Looks like this. And I think she has a rule that she gives it to them when they're two. So they don't usually have it the first couple of years. And I think that's because that's how long it takes her to make though. 
Oh, big hug for your stocking. And the big joke about the stockings is that depending on what kind of yarn she uses, the bigger or smaller they are, or stretchier. I think it was the <laughs> type of, what's it, needles. Oh, and needles. Like whatever she, like whatever she uses that year <laughs> makes a big difference on the stocking. So Jacob's. It started with berries. <laughs> That was like really small, and then mine was giant, and then the next one was just right. Yeah, so Jacob stretches to like the size of his body, and Bailey's is very like tight and small, and yeah, I think Parker's is just right, and then they just vary, and it's just, it's fun mine that they do that. Stretch. My mom was sending me pictures of Luke's stocking as she was making it and laughing and being like, oh my goodness, I think we might have beat Jake's giant one. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's another large and stretchy this year. <laughs> what is your stocking like? I think it's just like Duncan's. Yeah, I think it's just Duncan's. right. Right now, we're making plantains. Right, very well done, Duncan. Yeah, so I'm cutting up some plantains and then I'm putting them in brown sugar. And then we're putting them in a pan. We're frying them up in some peanut oil and butter. Yeah, with a pan. Here are the sweet plantains that we're making. There's peanut oil and butter, and I'm coating the plantains in brown sugar right now. Isn't that gorgeous, the cooked ones? If you don't know what a plantain is, they look like large bananas, but you really don't want to eat them raw. You always cook them, and they could be made savory or sweet, and they're delicious both ways. I haven't really made sweet plantains on my own before. I've eaten them lots of times, but I saw them at the store, and I was like, yes, I'm buying some plantains, and I was really excited to make some sweet ones. I did make them with like a friend, in high school I think once but she was really the main one making them she was doing it for a class assignment and I was just there hanging out and <laughs> enjoying them with her plantains are a very common food in the Caribbean and some areas of South America and Central America I don't know exactly where I will look into that but I don't I don't have it off the top of my head uh, but I, I really enjoy them as well wow they're gorgeous look at how pretty that is they turned out so good they're so pretty I'm really tempted to like sprinkle something on there. Like I don't know if I should put a little um, uncooked brown sugar on there or if that's like never. So if you make plantains regularly and there's something that you like put on them, I'd love to hear ideas. I mean, they might be great as is. I, I was even thinking like maybe a pinch of salt or something. Like I just don't know if there's something I should kind of put on the top, but they're really pretty. And we're gonna taste them as soon as they cool down. They probably burn our mouths off if we try them now. While the first batch is cooling, I was making the second batch and it, it looks even better than the first batch, so I had to show it to you. Look at how good that looks. Can I have some? Oh, they're perfect. Okay, both batches are done, and I think number one is ready to eat. So let's look at them. This is how they turned out. This is one and two. Fried banana. I'm a professional plantain machine. Mm. 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 French fries and sugar. Don't worry, I'm living my life. You're living your life? Okay, what did it taste like, Jacob? French fries and sugar? Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Chocolate? It tastes like chocolate to you? Mm -hmm. Oh, party I'm so fail. sorry. It's okay. That's a, just, just take a little cut into one. Don't put the whole thing on your fork. I think the more caramelized they are, the better for that one. I wanna have the whole mm. thing of this. Wowie wow. What do you think? It's like creme brulee mixed just so you know um the banana it's like green bananas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want some food? <laughs> They're like special bananas. They're called plantains. Okay. Plantains, yeah. Like that, yeah. Here, open your mouth. You want one? Here, wait, wait. It's a little bit warm, okay? Um, do half. A little bit at half. Okay, 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 okay. Stepped on immediately. <laughs> not what he expected. Let's try it again, baby. I think you'll like it. It's just not what you were expecting. Is there anyone in your mouth? Do you want to feed yourself? 
I'm proud of you for giving it another chance. What do you think? Like it? <laughs> do you want some more? No, it's a More. <laughs> okay. I thought you'd like these. They're just not what you were expecting at first. Ugh. Yummy, huh? Mm -hmm. These are really good. Yeah. Yeah. You want some more? Both. More? Can you say please? Please. Good boy. A plantain. Yeah. Mm, very good. Plantain. Hi. Welcome to the van. This is our big 15 passenger van that we've had for a few months now. And I really enjoy it. It's, it's nice. The kids have a lot of space. And we named it Vangelica because Hamilton. I'm going to take the kids out of the house for a little while and I have all six kids. I've got a diaper bag and I got some pumped milk and I'm gonna take them on an adventure. We try and do it every Friday. We try and do a big adventure and then I'll take them on like little excursions here and there. Today, I'm going to take them to the Santa Barbara Harbor. We've been going to harbors all along the coast because the kids love seeing the boats and getting the fresh air. And I, I personally really enjoy the beach and harbors and piers and things like that. I, I just, I don't know why I'm sort of drawn to them and enjoy being out there. So today I'm gonna to take them to the Santa Barbara Harbor. It's a little bit of a trek, but it'll get us out of the house for a little bit. So Jessica can do some shopping. And what, you heard that? Anyway, I think we might have a special guest with us once we get there. I texted someone and they said they were gonna meet us. So let's go to the harbor. man, I am having such a great time. <laughs> I am Black Friday shopping at home for my computer, so I'm kind of like Cyber Monday shopping, but today is Black Friday. I don't think I'm getting any deals. <laughs> I kind of hoped I would. Um, I think I'm just shopping, really, on Friday after Thanksgiving. <laughs> but I'm really happy because I just feel like I can really think these things through because Christopher took all the kids and it's so nice to be able to just sit down and really think about what I'm doing. That's one of the, the really difficult things about when you have so many children is that there's always somebody coming and asking a question or interrupting a thought or especially with Christmas, you know, we gotta keep these secrets, right? I just feel really good because I'm able to shop for a lot of the people that like sometimes slip through the crack throughout December. I'm also trying to get really organized with the kids. So both of those things, I feel like they mean a lot to me but I haven't always had the time to like really concentrate on. So I'm so grateful that Christopher has given me these hours to really like think about and organize our plans and that I'm able to get it done now instead of, you know, a week before Christmas or a couple days before Christmas. <laughs> so I'm really hopeful that this will reduce a lot of stress for both of us. I I'm definitely checking some people off my list already, and I have more to do and I have a little more time, so I'm gonna get to that, but I'm really enjoying this. I'm grateful that I have the time to really shop in peace. And that, like, I, I feel weird saying that because it like sounds almost negative when I don't have this time alone, but I don't mean it that way. I just mean like, I don't feel the stress of like having to worry that somebody's gonna figure out what I'm doing or that I'm gonna forget something because I'm like able to really think about it, so really nice. Thank you, Christopher, my superhero husband. I love you so, so much. He's such a good man. You can see that because he edits these videos. We are at the harbor and we're kind of in a little like area where there aren't so many people. What do you see? You see boats? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Grandpa's joining us today. I didn't bring one for Teddy. And he brought food. What did you bring us? Free birds. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, we left the move that we saw yesterday. Oh, no. oh, you know what the museum has? Oh, you see a flag? 
Yep. Luke likes to find the flags. Yeah. So Freebirds is like a burrito shop in Isla Vista, which is where UCSB is. And our family loves going there, but I haven't gone there personally in such a long time. So this is a real treat. My dad brought us burritos. Shopping is going great. I feel like there's always so much to do and I'm glad I'm getting like ahead of it a little bit, but there's still a lot to do. And <laughs> I wanted to tell you that I researched plantains a little and I was incorrect about them being like solely native to um, the Southern Americas and Caribbean. They are actually from Southeast Asia. Um, and I think India. They went from there to Africa and then to the South Americas. I think I tried, I'm like, I tried researching it because I wanted to like know, but I kind of ended up a little bit just more confused. <laughs> but I did find out that I was incorrect and that they're very popular in Africa and I think it's Southeast Asia. I think that's what it said. <laughs> so that was really good to learn something. And if you know more about plantains, please share so that we can learn even more and uh, so that it can be a little more clear because I was somewhat confused with my little internet search. We're here at the breakwater. Oh my God. <laughs> So we are at the breakwater and that's where the water breaks so that it's nice and calm back here. So all the waves break on this wall and sometimes they splash over a little bit. And that's what happened to us just now. <laughs> I think it was the unexpected icy rush of ocean water that, uh, that upset Luke here. But he's okay now, right? You good? You happy? Yeah. yeah. Do you see the birds? Do you see the birds? Do you see the waves? Do you see the water down there? We don't need to be afraid of it. Is it pretty out there? What do you see? Do you see a boat? A boat. A boat, yeah. Oh, another boat? Well, behind me here are a bunch of flagpoles, and Luke loves flags. And I've never been here where there weren't flags on these flagpoles. And today there aren't any. And and I can't cheer Luke up with flags. We'll find some flags somewhere. I found a whale tail bench and I fed Teddy a bottle and this is the best place in the world to feed a baby a bottle is right here during this weather because the view is this. It's sunny but it's not hot today. It's perfect. Perfect weather. So awesome. You guys having fun? Yeah! Let's go find some more crap! I just got Bailey, Jacob, and Parker's big present for Christmas this year and I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm so excited, it's so good. And, um, I'm really, really excited. I'm trying to figure out how to balance Duncan because I feel like I got I got them one thing that's kind of the same for all three of the older kids and Duncan, I couldn't get it for him for reasons, I don't know, I'll explain it maybe in the future or when it happens, but I couldn't get it for Duncan just because of his age. He had to be five to get this present and he is four and a half. So I have to figure out some way to balance it so that he's not disappointed when I hope they get really, really, really excited on Christmas. Oh my God, I, I can't, I'm, I'm really excited. I know this is lame because like I can't tell you what it is yet, but I'm so excited. I am really excited. Okay, okay, I gotta go. My dad had to go uh, pick up my brother from work, so now it's just me and the six kids. And I'm, I'm feeling a little daring, so we're gonna try and get onto a boat. Let's go on a boat. Are you on a boat? Yeah? Oh, you found a flag. Yes. Are we on a boat? Ah! You found a flag, yeah. See, these are meant to scare the birds off. Huh? 
<laughs> you like the boat? Beautiful sports fishing. It's all right. You liking it, Luke? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. So that boat we just went on is called the Little Toot and uh, it takes you to Stern's Wharf from the harbor to the wharf. So now we're on the wharf, which is this like kind of big bridge thing up here that uh, you can actually drive cars on. It's, it's pretty big. So now we're gonna look around here and then we'll get back on Little Toot and go back to our car. Right here at the wharf, we found lots of flags for Luke. There they are. What? Yeah, you see them all? Yeah. The pier smells like tar and the ocean. And those smells always remind me of my grandpa. Not because he smelled like tar and the ocean, but because he would take me here to the pier. I remember fishing off the edge of the pier here with my grandpa. Good times, good memories. We are right now passing the sea center. There's the sign right there, Sea Center. Uh, it is closed right now, but they have some of the touch tanks and exhibits from the Sea Center at the Santa Barbara Natural History Museum. And we showed us checking that out in a previous vlog. I'll put a link to that up in the corner right now. There it is. That's your link. You give me kisses. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's a lot of kisses. Hello, bug. You want a treat? Sit. Yes. Good girl. What a good girl you are. I'm a good girl. So I call Rue my little bunny bear. <laughs> Thank you for the kisses, you cuddle bug. Thank you, because she's kind of the size of a bear. She's the softness as a bunny and the sweetness of a bunny. Come here. So yeah, Rue and I hang out right here a lot. It's this corner of the couch. I've been training her to like sit next to me and hang out and get brushed in this zone. So I do feed Rue with lots of meat treats, but my favorite thing to feed her with are just plain Cheerios because the vegetarian and I feel like a little bit less icky with my hands touching the Cheerios. Rue's favorite cuddles are getting her tummy scratched. She loves this. And we're training her to lie down on us. So see that? that we're giving it the command snuggle. So right now she's snuggling. Technically that's a deep pressure task. And we're not teaching her any other like task training, but this one's supposed to be kind of easy when they're puppies to have them do and a little harder to train them on when they're dogs, or at least that's what I've heard. Don't um, like quote me on that. And <laughs> I'm not trying to argue with anybody who's had more success with adults, but Rue is so cuddly right now. And it's like so warm and nice when she cuddles. Huh, oh, baby. A baby bear. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you. What a cuddle bug. And she's such a puppy. I think she just, just turned nine months old and she's very, very playful and kind of jumpy. We've had to be very controlled with her, with the toddlers, because she thinks that they're her playmates. So it's it, like, she's very sweet and loving and good with kids, but she um, is jumpy. And we've been training her since she came home to, to us to like not jump on people as a greeting. She's 
learning, but she just gets so excited, especially with Duncan, because I think he's like blonde, and I just say he looks like her litter mates. So she kind of like will jump at him when she's running around, and she's so fast and heavy, so like it's really easy for her to knock him over. They get along really well. Like if she's sitting like this, he can come up easily and like cuddle with her and lie next to her, and it's not an issue. <laughs> what a good girl, see this little princess? So she is learning to sit at doors instead of to like just bust out of them in part to keep her safe so that if the kids ever open the front door, she's not gonna run out into the street. And in part for other things, I don't know why. We follow a training program and I just do what I'm told to do. She likes to do her poops on the hill. So she'll find a spot on the hill. <laughs> and she likes her privacy, so I'm gonna give it to her right now. But she'll only go poop on, on the hill. I think she likes privacy. Like I honestly don't know why, but since the day we brought her home, when she has to go poo poo, she will go up onto our hill, do it. And then for peas, we had her trained right here, working on hopefully regrowing our grass, but California's in a drought right now, so we haven't had our sprinklers going. Um, so it's all dead. It wasn't because of Rue. I will fully defend her. It was not because of Rue. Her pee pee spot is actually this zone right here, and you can kind of see it like circled. And that's because we've been training her to pee in a location and she did a really great job and she took to that pretty well. All the grass is dead anyway from the drought. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. Hey. She's so cute. She's such a little prancer. It's so fun to see her playing with Moose because she, she like, she's just so prancy. Okay, probably break over. It's time to get serious about the shopping again. I am doing well though, I'm proud of myself, but there's so much to do, there's always so much, it's unending. Are you a sailor? Yeah. Yeah, you're a sailor? We're back on little two. Ooh. Ooh. Now you guys are experienced sailors. That's pretty cool. You're, you're experienced sailors now. You got the hats and everything. All right, we are back on the harbor side. Little Toot got us here nice, safe and sound. Was that fun? Yes. Yeah, do you like being on a boat? Did you like being on the boat? It. You were not expecting it? Did I surprise you with a boat ride? That was so fun. I loved it when we went on the, the boat ride because Luke was just pointing out everything. Weren't you, Luke? Yeah. We saw this houseboat on our way back and it was so cool. Yeah, it was just really fun. Duncan wants to talk. So, I loved the boat ride. And you know what I got? When I was off of the boat ride, a hat. Hi, right, sorry. Little Toot! Oh my goodness, this is the cutest hat I've ever seen! Did you go on Little Toot? <laughs> did, you, did you go on Little Toot? Little Toot! <laughs> little Toot! Oh my goodness, what a bunch of Little Toots! Hi, Little Toot! You're the littlest Toot. <laughs> that makes sense because you're the big toot, aren't you? I'm the big toot. <laughs> I'm the medium toot. I took off his shirt because it's. Oh, you're soaking? Yeah, Shirtless toot? toot. Remember when it went? Oh, very nice. It literally went toot toot. That was right, cool. <laughs> Did you guys have fun? Yeah, no, I totally yeah. forgot about that whole entire place. <laughs> so, it was new. Little toot had bubbles. That's and awesome. Also, I love a bubble that came inside of little two. What? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There was a bubble that went inside of little two. Inside toot. of it. Yeah. How cute is this little toot? Hey, bubble, missed ya. He is the littlest toot. Luke is little toot. Duncan is little toot. I am medium toot. Jacob is large toot. Daddy <laughs> is extra large toot. Dad is very big toot. All these toots I've created. Mommy is sweet like roses. <laughs> toot. toot. <laughs> I'm sweet.
we like roses too. What? I love it. How's your time? It's good, good. productive. Yeah, I think so. Unless I, until I go over everything and go like, oh, dang, I forgot to do that. But I, I'm doing great. I'm good. Did you I'm get fine. stuff for me? I don't know. You think I should have? Parker's like, uh, did you get me a present? No, no, no. Did you no. get me a present? <laughs> yes, you're okay. <laughs> me a present. I don't want anything for Christmas. You don't want anything for Christmas? Yeah. Oh man, what if I mess up and accidentally get you stuff for Christmas? It's fine. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that Black Friday shopping from home without any deals is just shopping on a Friday after Thanksgiving. We learned that all it takes to become an experienced sailor is a trip on Little Toot and maybe a couple hats. And finally we learned who the biggest toot is. It's me, I'm the biggest too. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>